Hi, I'm Corey Weatherton. I'm Director of Product Development for Integra Coach. And I'm excited to show you today the brand new Accolade XT and the floor plan is the 29T. First, I want to start off by sharing with you what the Accolade XT even is before we get into the floor plans. The Accolade XT is based on the F550 and the F600 chassis. Um, all of our floor plans are able to be built on the F600. Standard on this 29T is the F550. Uh, but we will option an F600 if you desire that, obviously for a little bit of an upcharge. Uh, but a great platform. It is the XLT package that Ford is supplying to us. It's a 6.7 liter power stroke diesel engine. And so a lot of you folks have been asking for a diesel chassis. We're giving it to you today. Uh, with this, it is four wheel drive. Incredible capabilities that Ford has given us with that. And so first I want to start off and share with you what we've done to this chassis to really accentuate the 4x4 capabilities of this chassis. First of all, we've added a 2-inch radius arm suspension lift from BDS. Absolutely incredible. 2-inch lift on the rear as well. We want to make sure that you have the ground clearance you need as you're on those two tracks in BLM land or you're potentially out in the sandy area of the beach. Uh, so we started with a lift on this chassis. The next thing we've done is we've removed the front and rear Ford stabilizer and we installed oversized stabilizer bars on front and rear. That's going to help with your left to right rocking and stability. As you're on those uneven roads, uh, you start to get a little bit of rocking with the body. Obviously, a coach this size is a little bit more top heavy than what your car is at home. So there is potential to rock. And so we wanted to mitigate that by installing the front and rear stabilizer bar oversized. We've removed boards. Next thing we've done on this chassis is we've added Helwig helper springs on the rear. That's going to help with you as you're using your vertical, vertical tongue weight, um, potentially pulling a cargo trailer, potentially pulling a toy hauler. Uh, you're going to be able to not get squatty in the rear with those Helwig helper springs. The second thing those helper springs do is it does help with stability left to right as well. So we are increasing that not only with those stabilizer bars, but those Helwig helper springs as well. The final thing we've done to the suspension is we've added Coney FSD shock frequency selective dampening and so they are a dual valve shock uh, they do help with both stability and comfort so whether you hit a big pothole and you need a lot of hydraulic fluid to go through to absorb that impact or potentially uh, you're starting to uh, uh, to turn aggressively it could be on a clover leaf could be uh, on a road uh, helping to prevent the body roll not only with those stabilizer bars and your helmet helper spring but those shocks only let a little hydraulic fluid through to give you the stability you need. So we've enhanced the suspension on this to give you the off-road capabilities that you're desiring. So that's what we've done to the ride portion. What have we done uh, to this chassis to help you with those off-road scenarios? Let me show you the front end of this, Coach. We have partnered with Road Armor. Road Armor is a company based down in Texas. We absolutely love them. Uh, they are building these uh, front bumpers for us. This is an aftermarket bumper, obviously with a bull bar or, or excuse me a bull bar or a brush guard depending on where you're at in the country you call it a different thing uh, they've also provided us the side running boards or side steps and so we are definitely enamored with them as a company uh, there is a built-in winch cradle into this so it is winch ready so if you do desire to put a winch on this um, you will be able to do that you'll notice uh, that there are uh, auxiliary lights in this front bumper uh, the one is a ford oe fog light. Um, they have actually in their new uh, chassis model year, they've installed that uh, fog light into their bumper. As we remove that bumper and replace it with this bumper, we actually have to remove their fog light as well and then uh, replace it uh, with this fog light that we've, that we've brought in. Also, you're going to notice that there's a uh, spotlight and then overhead floodlights. We want to make sure that as you're in those remote places that you have plenty of lighting that you need. Uh, potentially it's an overcast night, the moon is not shining, you're going to be able to have enough lighting to go where you want to go. Also on the rear of this coach there is uh, rear floodlights and the floodlights are going to be obviously for those same scenarios. Either you're pulling into a campground late at night or you're in those remote places you need to back up plenty of lighting behind you. All of these lights are controlled by auxiliary lighting above the center council. There's going to be overhead switches. That's going to control your lighting uh, for those scenarios. You're going to notice with our front cap, it is very sleek looking. 
One of the drawbacks of this incredible chassis is that the cab is a little bit squattier compared to a normal E450. Uh, so as we were designing this front cap, we first start off by looking at what does a normal front cap look like for us on this coach. And in reality, it just looks big and clunky compared to the squattiness of this cab. And so we tapered uh, the front, we tapered the sides, gave it more of an aerodynamic look to it, made it uh, look a little bit more thinned out. But what you will notice about this cap, it's true with our other caps as well, there's absolutely no seams on this. As you know from watching our other videos, the number one leak point on a Class C is the horizontal seam right here where your sidewall meets your, meets your bunk platform. Uh, that's a place where water will infiltrate your coach. So it doesn't matter if you're buying an Odyssey SE or you're buying an Accolade XT, we've covered that seam up to protect your investment. Uh, we would hate for anybody to spend uh, close to $200,000 on a coach, whether it's ours or another brand, and all of a sudden your investment's ruined simply because the thing is leaked right here. So we've protected your investment. We've covered that up. You'll notice as well that we do have um, aftermarket wheels on this, the matte black wheels to, to really uh, go with the aggressive look of this coach. And then also these are aftermarket Firestone AT tires. So want to make sure that you're able to go where you need to go. Moving back to coach, you will see our two-year limited warranty plus a three-year structural. Two-year limited warranty is limited by 24,000 miles or uh, really neglect on your part. Don't be fooled by bigger numbers on the side of somebody's coach. That too is what you're concerned about. Everybody else in the industry is a one-year limited warranty. We give you a two-year limited warranty. You may see a big seven. You may see a big uh, 13 on the side of somebody's motorhome. You probably won't because nobody's mean, uh, showing those numbers, but they're showing pretty big numbers. The thing of that is it's just a structural. Why would a company give you only a one-year limited warranty, but yet a very large structural warranty? Uh, simply because they know the odds of something happening in the structure are slim to none. But the limited warranty, something could happen. There's a lot of components inside of this coach. There's a lot of part numbers in our coaches. Everybody else is one year. We're going to protect you for two complete camping seasons. So that's going to be standard on all of our uh, Accolade XTs. Also what's standard on all of our Accolade XTs, a full fiberglass roof. Uh, new for model year 24, Starlink is standard. So if you are in those remote places with no cell signal, uh, you can still stream if you want to stream. You can still uh, do research on uh, the best trails out in uh, uh, Joshua or out in wherever you're at you can still have the internet connection uh, courtesy of Starlink. We are excited about that, and we think it's going to be a great benefit for you as well. Standard on these XTs, you're going to have 200 watts of solar. This does have a 6,000-watt diesel generator that is plumbed to the chassis. This chassis has two uh, fuel tanks. Uh, the, it's it's uh, two filling places as well on the other side of the coach, and so um, the, the generator is incredible because it will run off of this chassis not propane it's not gasoline it is diesel so it's going to run off of this as i mentioned we do have uh road armor uh side steps running boards those are standard on this coach also standard on this coach you'll have a 15k ac with a heat pump and then also a uh, 13,500 btu air conditioner no heat pump in that and also a 30,000 btu furnace so uh, a lot of heat capabilities a lot of cooling capabilities in this coach Moving back, you will see uh, something that is standard on all of our XTs. It is an outdoor entertainment center. This is a 32-inch television with a sound bar. Uh, standard in the, our other floor plans will be a 40-inch television. In this specific floor plan, we had to go with a 32-inch. Uh, but this exterior television, I know you're going to be out camping. You're going to be out uh, motor, uh, motorcycling. You're going to be out doing random things. A lot of you won't be using this, but I can tell you, as soon as we don't put that in a coach, we're standing at a show or you call us and say, hey, what in the world? I want a TV. So we're giving you a TV. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. That's totally your call. Uh, sell it on eBay if you'd like to. Make some side money. Do whatever you want with it or watch it. Your call. Uh, moving back to Coach, you will notice that inside this storage compartment, uh, we are not using Rotocast baggage compartments. Rotocast baggage compartments, with time, they tend to uh, get a belly in it. Uh, they tend to deform. We are using uh, a wood wood uh, base in here, and then we're lining it with that rubber diamond tread just to give it durability. Things aren't sliding around, and then carpet. And some of our floor plans, 
you will find uh, complete pass-throughs. Uh, so I wanted to point that out as well. There'll be plenty of room in that for a uh, four-foot folding table, fishing poles, could be a snowboard, fill in the blank with whatever you want to bring along. Um, but all of our, our, uh, our baggage compartments will be that rubber diamond tread in that. Moving back, you will see the frameless windows. That is standard. And then overhead, we have a full-length awning. All of our XTs will have a, uh, an awning on it. It will be legless. It will have the motion slash wind sensor in it. I would just encourage you, if you are out and about kayaking, if you're out and about mountain biking, go ahead and just put that in. Uh, don't put it to the test. I, I promise it does have a motion sensor slash wind detector in it. Promise it does, but just put it back. If you get a strong gust of wind and it's uh, slowly retracting, you get a second strong gust, uh, damage could occur to that awning. Just put it in. It's the best insurance policy you could have for your awnings. Moving back, uh, you will see that uh, in this floor plan, we do have another very large uh, storage compartment here. But this and this floor plan is really, really the huge, huge, huge selling feature in my mind is what you're about to see in this uh, storage compartment. This is a complete pass through. Now, we do have the molly panels going across the, the rear of the inside there just to give you a heads up. Uh, that is not going to be how full production units will be. We will have a molly panel on this door, one on the opposing door, and then a molly panel centered through the rear access here. Uh, so it'll be right in the center of this section. So what we absolutely love about this is we know that the XT was created for those of you who love the outdoor adventures, you outdoor adventure enthusiasts. And so we have a, a 35L, we have a 32U, but for some of you that was just too long. For some of you that was not enough storage for your larger things. And so we created this one simply because uh, we knew that you'd want to bring along potentially your skis, your snowboards, um, even, even bikes could fit in here. You're gonna have to take, you're gonna have to take your tires off, uh, clasp your seat all the way down, but plenty of storage in here for anything you wanna bring along with you. So this 29T floor plan uh, really gives you that the storage capabilities that you need. Something else I wanna point out on the rear of this coach, uh, you will notice there's no rear cap. We do have a full fiberglass rear cap on our other two floor plans. On this 29T floor plan, you do not get a rear fiberglass cap. So I just wanted to communicate that to you. Uh, this floor plan, bumper to bumper, is right at about 30 feet. So it is a shorty. And uh, with that shorty, we in the incredible storage, we couldn't do a rear cap and give you this uh, rear access into the storage area. So we felt like this was more important than the aesthetics of that rear cap. So wanted to show that to you. Coming around the other side of the coach, if you'd like to, just real quick. I um, want to show you a couple more compartments over here because the common question is, that's great, you showed me uh, passenger side storage. What's on the other side? You will notice this is our wet bay area uh, with our low point drains. Everything's clearly labeled. Uh, convenient access to your water filter there. Uh, all of your uh, tanks, your storage tanks, your fresh, your gray, and your black are all enclosed. And so uh, this is a great unit for that. It's going to keep everything uh, warm on the inside. Next compartment, you will see uh, your AGM batteries above it. There's a small cubby. Uh, we do have, that's where we're putting our Starlink router. Uh, so it is a small cubby hole. You can put cords in there. Uh, you can put uh, you know, whatever you want. I'm not going to tell you what to put in there. Here's our, our fuel, uh, fuel fills coming back. We've got another storage compartment um, with your, with your uh, waste valve below. And then our generator is housed right in front of this. This unit does have a... 10 gallon gas electric hot water heater uh, right here. Uh, this is going to be on the inside of the coach right below your reefer. Uh, so this has been a complete walk around of the exterior of this coach. Let's go inside and check out the inside. So now to focus specifically on this XT and the front end of what you're going to find in every one of our XTs, you will find our front bunk as mentioned rated at 750 pounds. This is a very large area. Will it ever hold 750 pounds? Will 750 pounds of people ever be up there? Probably not. But at the same time, this is just one of the things that allows us to do that two plus three warranty is our engineering. Uh, we engineer this for that 750 pounds. Uh, and within the industry, your class C's, the average is 425 pounds. So we have engineered this uh, to be able to withstand whatever you're going to throw up here. Also, the great thing about that 750 pounds is we do add a safety net up here. And, uh, and it will lit, it will hook there, hook down here. And so you could put boxes up there if you choose to. Just make sure they're not going to slide around. Uh, you could use this as a storage area going down the road 
but don't exceed that 750 pounds. Great thing about this chassis is it's a very familiar chassis. As I mentioned, this is the F550 and 600 chassis. If you drive a truck, it's going to feel like your truck at home. If you drive a car, it's going to feel very similar to your car at home. It is very comfortable, plenty of legroom. It does have the Ford Sync in the dash. And so with that, you're going to be able to do your uh, Sirius XM, uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, we have recovered the seats. These are super comfortable seats. And also what you'll notice is the center console. Uh, something I do want to point out to you, it's, it's really a struggle every manufacturer has, every RV manufacturer has, is um, going from the cab area to the living area can be a little bit difficult, just being honest with you. As I mentioned on the outside of the coach, the cab is squattier compared to an E450. So an E450, very easy to stand up, come back into your living area. We wanted to make this a little bit easier on you, even though it still is a little bit difficult. So we've given you a, a very large cutout uh, in this front overhead bunk area so that as you get up, turn around, it will be a little bit easier for you. So just wanted to have full transparency with you, full honesty with you, uh, that some people do find that a little bit difficult. Uh, so they will potentially be using this entry door more than passing through this area. Totally your call. Hop in the driver's seat and just experience it for yourself to see if you like it or not. Great thing about this coach is our screen doors. It sounds pretty crazy. Are you tired of those screen doors that if you want to close your blinds, you've got to open the door, you've got to op uh, close the screen door, and then shut your blind? Our screen doors have a blind integrated into them. And that's awesome, isn't it? Because if you've ever camped with one that doesn't have this, you know how much of a pain it's going to be. And so I want to point that out to you because even though it seems kind of trivial, it's a great feature on this coach that I know I'm taking advantage of when I take this thing out camping. So uh, this has been the front end of the coach. Here's the exciting part. We're about to turn around and I'm going to show you the 29T floor plan for the first time in this video. And surprise, here we are. This is the 29T floor plan for the first time on our website. Now, if you watch YouTube, you've probably seen me in a different video, but this is the official one, all right? So discount the other ones. We've got an official video here today. I love this floor plan. What I absolutely love about it is there are zero slides on this. As mentioned, 30 feet long, no slides. And it's amazing how wide this hallway is. I'm, I'm in between the kitchen and my coat rack area. Uh, in the front there, I've got my refrigerator. I can easily go uh, from my cooktop over to my refrigerator. I can go from my cooktop over to my cabinet area so that I can get my lagoon tables and, and put them back in, in the lounge area for a dining scenario. I've got my uh, convection microwave. I've got everything I need in this small coach. And as we're developing this floor plan, the crazy thing is, is that a lot of us thought it seemed like a good idea and on paper it looked like a good idea but the big question is is once you get the ceiling and the walls on is it going to feel claustrophobic and i can tell you this doesn't feel claustrophobic wide open uh, hallway as i mentioned a lot of storage in such a small floor plan uh, we intentionally raise the cabinets up uh, these are going to be standard height uh, countertops just to give you that open feel coming back I'm not going to open this because uh, you'll see our uh, our uh, booth outside, the warehouse outside. But uh, we do have a full length uh, kitchen window here, so as you're cooking, as you're doing dishes, you can look out and be a part of the action outside. Moving back, uh, as I mentioned, you got the full uh, full wall of coat racks here, and then back in the living area. This is very intentional. As you come back here, you're gonna notice that we've got uh, windows all the way around. So windows on three sides here. I, just imagine yourself. If you're going out for the day mountain biking and you have your Starlink hooked up, you're in here on your laptop, you are Googling or safari or whatever uh, platform you're using as far as what trails you're gonna be hitting. You can be back here drinking your coffee. Uh, there's no knee knockers as far as the table goes. You can watch the sunrise on, on either side of you or even behind you. And this is an incredible area just for lounging. Or at the end of the day, after you've uh, been out fishing, salmon fishing out in the river, fly fishing, fill in the blank with whatever you've done, you're sitting in here, you're relaxing, uh, having an evening drink, your, your soda, your, your uh, uh, fill in the blank with whatever you do, and uh, just relaxing and talking about the day. This uh, has uh, two lagoon table mounts. 
Uh, so for you to be able to sit on both sides if you'd like to, uh, with two lagoon tables as well. You could have four people back here uh, using and utilizing those lagoon tables if you'd like to, but really you could comfortably see probably five back here, uh, depending on the size of folks. Uh, but this is not only a lounge area where you're able to see everything uh, with your day night roller shades, but also this can become a very large bed for you if you'd like. As mentioned, we have a very large uh, front bunk on this that does have a bunk ladder rated at 750 pounds, the bed is. And so a lot of room up there. Uh, but maybe you just want to sleep back here. Or maybe there's two people sleeping. Maybe two brothers are going out hunting for the weekend and one's up front and one's in back. Great thing about this floor plan, as mentioned, is this converts into just a massive bed area. And so I've got a switch on either side. All I have to do is uh, push the button in the down and it will start to go down as noticed. It'll come out, once it clears the wall, it'll fully go flat. And so I can do that on both sides, fully flat, and then just a very large area back here. Wake up in the morning, super easy to put it back up. It's just push the up button and it'll do its thing. You got plenty of charging space back here. You've got a wireless charger on this side. You've got a 120 volt outlet there, 120 volt outlet on this side. And so just a wonderful lounge area for you to be able to just relax and tell stories of your adventures. As mentioned, we've got a lot of storage in here. Uh, we do have uh, large, deep drawers. That's one thing that I noticed as I pulled that out. I wasn't gonna say large, deep drawers. I was just gonna say we have drawers. Those are large and deep. Uh, same story on this one. Uh, we've got uh, slide out drawers on, on uh, this side, a lot of storage. And then the question is, is where's my wardrobe? Where am I gonna put my clothes? We've got a wardrobe on this side. On this side, uh, we've got a smaller wardrobe and this is intentional because you're probably not gonna be bringing three piece suits in this unit. I doubt you're gonna be uh, doing a lot of uh, public speaking where you need those suits or you're gonna be um, utilizing it to preach your next sermon at church. I don't know, but we've given you the storage area if you'd like it. So a nice wardrobe for this size of a coach, uh, plenty of hanging space. And then down below, uh, we've got our drawers as well, full bank of drawers. Uh, so a lot of, a lot of space to sit, a lot of place for storage. And how about that television? That is a 50 inch television. And this does come out on an angle. So I can be sitting uh, anywhere from approximately this area on over, and I can see this 50-inch television. And there again, I know some of you purists, I've just been mountain biking, I've just been doing whatever, I'm not going to watch television, I'm not going to watch Netflix. But what about hooking your GoPro up to this and watching the adventure you just did earlier in the day on this television, and just reliving it and having a good laugh and having memories. So this television, Utilize it. There again, sell on eBay if you don't want it. We think you'll use it for your GoPro or for who knows what. So a large television for you for all of your viewing. And then the bathroom. A very large bathroom for a no-slide unit. This is comparable to our 32U floor plan, the size of the bathroom in there. You do have uh, your black drawer poles and accent pieces, uh, por uh, porcelain foot flush toilet, glass shower door, overhead skylight in that shower. So somebody like myself, six, two and a half, six, three, I'm not having to duck my head. I've got plenty of room in that shower as well as your bathroom exhaust fan, large medicine cabinet, plenty of storage. And I keep referencing storage because I'm amazed at a 30 foot unit, no slides, how much storage is in this. So uh, this has been just an incredible unit for us. Folks have walked in. We just got uh, back from the Tampa show. As I mentioned, we released it at Hershey. And uh, we've sold a number of these simply because we are the only manufacturer, major manufacturer in the industry building a floor plan similar to this. So uh, this has been the inside. Absolutely incredible. We've fallen in love with it and we think you will too. I want to thank you for taking time to watch this video today. Again, my name is Corey Weatherton. I'm Director of Product Development for Integra Coach. Uh, you have been watching a video on the Accolade XT 29T floor plan. If you have any questions, I would encourage you to contact your local dealer you don't know who your local dealer is come to our website we do have a dealer finder on there they will direct you to who is closest to you give them a call ask them about the 29t floor plan ask them if they've got any in stock if you've got more specific questions always feel free to call us here at the factory when you call uh, the question will be asked hey what's your name and what state or province are you from and we will connect you to our regional sales manager who's responsible for your state or province 
They would love to answer any technical questions you have. But again, thank you for watching this video on the 29T Integra Coach Accolade XT. Go out, look at one today, and if you love outdoor adventures, make sure you buy one.